Uh, we are live trying this out today. See how you guys like it. Uh, you can see the sun not quite up yet. We're getting off the dock here today. It's been blowing over 20 knots for about the last three days. Today it's down about 12 knots, looking nice and calm out there. So uh, we're gonna get off the dock, we're gonna do it live. Uh, Steph is walking Bucky right now, uh, and we're kind of getting the rest of the boat ready to go. Uh, one thing we need to do is disconnect from shore power. So uh, we'll kind of do that now. And once that's done, we will put um, Megan down on the paddle board because Megan has to go on the paddle board and disconnect our lines off the poles out there. So uh, she will unhook those once we get there because this, this marina we're at, we're in a Crooked Island, um, Crooked Island Lodge uh, in the Ackland Islands in the Bahamas. Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, it's really nice marina, brand new. And it's calm right now, but it's fairly surgy. So surgy means, uh, even though the bay looks calm here, the marina looks calm, it's not. Uh, the swell is wrapping around that lighthouse way out there coming in and it kind of channels itself up here. And so it's very small. I mean, it's more, it's just a couple inches coming in and out, but it's enough that it surges the boat back and forth in the dock. So really got to be tied up well. Um, morning guys, how are you? So uh, hello from Tampa. All right, um, probably can't answer too many uh, oh, I thought, you, I thought you were holding Bucky down there. I was like, what are you holding Bucky over there for? What? Say hello to Megan. Yeah. Hello. What? Say hello. Hi, good morning, everyone. So, I uh, probably can't answer too many questions today because we'll be working. But at certain points, I'm going to set the... Because uh, we do this, the lives on my phone because there's basically no other way to do it when you're out cruising here because the internet is so bad. Um, this is my... Hang on. This is kind of my uh, uh, electronics panel here. I'm gonna start my aft generator. Make sure it's off. Uh, so starting my aft generator, let it preheat for a second. And there we go, it's running. I already checked the oils on everything, so I already did that today. And then this is my um, main electronics panel. So right now, I'm connected to shore power right here. So I'm going to turn these off, all off. Go on the other side of the breaker. Turn my transfer switch over to the aft generator. And we got light again. So now we are running off the generator. Now we can disconnect from shore power. Uh, so uh, the here at this marina, it's a really nice marina. Oh, here's Bucky. Bucky! Say hi, Steph. Hi. Hey. There's Bucky. Look at that rising sun. You ready, Bucky? Mm, he's had a good walk. Yeah. We decided he doesn't really like being underway. Um, he's gotten sick the last couple times, um, so he gets a little seasick. Today should be pretty calm, though. So, hello, Australians. Yeah, kind of doing this. Uh, a good time for all you Australians because it's like 6.30 in the morning here, which would be, what, like 6 in the evening there? Probably a good time for you guys. All right. Um, guys, I've got the shore power. I've got the generator on, so we need to disconnect shore power. Yeah. Um, so if somebody will hold it at the base there, I'm going to go get it outside. Okay, Just hold it so that when I am moving the shore power cable, it doesn't fall in the water. Okay. And then once we get the shore power cable done, we need paddle border. Steph? You, well, whoever wants to do it. So we gotta, after we do, so just hold it, make sure it, that I don't drop it in the water. And then, okay. Good idea is always to uh, turn the breaker off before you disconnect something. This kind of leaves, keeps it from arcing and all that. Hang on a second. Get our hoses, yeah. This is a single 50 amp shore power cable. Um, morning. There's a lot of people going fishing today. There's a, apparently the fishing around here is really good. And uh, 
it's been blowing hard for a while, so like the fishermen are act keen to get out there and go. Hey, thanks, guy. Y'all too. All right, now you can pull it on. Uh, go ahead and disconnect. We don't have to pull it through. Take it, disconnect it from that other line, and then just pull it around. No, don't 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 let it fall like that. Yeah, that's what I didn't want you to do. Okay, just pull it all the way. Yeah, but see, that's not really going to work. I know. Let me come on. Step on the other side of it. Anyway, uh, got a disconnect shore power cable. Hey guys, good morning. How you doing? Uh, once we get the shore power cable away or put away, it'll be a little bit easier for us to kind of handle the camera and stuff too. So uh, we have a, we have a short cable power cable that's uh, in a coiler on the starboard side, uh, but you know if it's more than 40 feet to the plug-in point, we got to use the second cable because uh, well, man, there's a lot of ant or bugs on our boat. What's up with that? It's like we got attacked by bugs last night. A bunch of them on here. Uh, the dog has already gone to the bathroom, so he's good. Um, but he will... So the dog, he will come up here and pee. We tried to get him to use a grass mat in the back, but he's not having it. He'll come up here, though, and pee on the front deck. So, uh, seems to work out well for him. So we keep our spare power cord cable in here. And so, oh, oh, I thought you were getting a nice shot of Bucky's butt. You're not. Oh, there's Megan. Hang on. So that's how we got them on there too, is we put her on a paddleboard and she swing, uh, paddled out to these little poles and put them around there. Uh, so now she's got to do the one on this side. The one on the back too, right? Uh, I, I didn't do it, but... Yeah, but go ahead and undo it because he lassoed it on there and we can't like unlasso it.
We also store our dock lines in here. So um, this is where they go when we start disconnecting them. She's got most of the lines right there. Isn't there a large tide swings there? A couple feet, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, let me make sure she's got. Yeah, they're tied onto each other. So. How many people do we have? Uh, Good morning, everyone, or wherever you are. Morning. Okay, as soon as she gets that last one off the poles there, I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. We'll start getting to go. Uh, so, getting off the dock, we gotta untie a few more lines here. Oh uh, yeah, we're drifting away from the dock now. Yeah. We got our lines untied. Okay. The docks here are super high. They're like more than six feet off the water. Um, I guess it's because, uh, I don't know, I mean, they can get two and three foot ties. I guess they maybe cater to the bigger boats here or something like that. Morning from the Philippines. What's up? Hello from Amsterdam. Yeah, leave. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, leave that one on. That's what, oh, no, 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 no. Leave that one on. I meant the other one. All right, yeah. Oh, uh, you want to grab the paddleboard line from her, and then we need to get that other shore power cable rolled in. And then once y'all are done with that, y'all, we can start uh, pulling all the fenders that are connected to the dock. We can bring them back on the boat. Almost ready to go, guys. I'm gonna start the engines now. Hello from Oregon. What's happening? So the way. Oh, hey, nice catch. Wow, that was great. Go. That's how we bring our paddleboard back up front. Uh, I'm going to do that. No, it's going to fall. All right. We keep our paddleboards on the side, which actually is kind of a problem on these larger docks here. We've had a problem with like, because like we couldn't be starboard side to this dock right now because the dock is so high. Yeah. Oh shit. And that, that is why I didn't want it on the very top because it would have fallen in the water if that happened. I need to have my tripods with it. There we go. Steph, uh, if you and Megan will uh, roll in the, that other shore power cord. So we have this other shore power cord that actually portals up. 
Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, right. All right. Go ahead. Um, you wanna, so you want me to hold it on the back? I got it. <laughs> Come on, bring it. I need, I need slack. This is our auto coiler. I don't know if you can see that. Here we go. Sorry you had to stare at the auto coiler for a while, but that's the only place I could put the camera right now. All right, so now we've got all that good to go. We got most of the lines undone. We're gonna start the engines. What's for breakfast? Did not have any. So I'm gonna pull all my covers off. Ah. Uh, I just thought of something I need to do. Before we get going, I need to change over my fuel tanks. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to go down in the here? I'll let Megan entertain you while I go down there. Uh, Where are you, you going? Go. I got to go change over the fuel tanks so y'all can entertain the masses. All right, Steph, what do we have left to do? Um, I don't know. Besides disconnecting the lines, um, we're gonna roll up. Don't forget your hose, he said. Somebody said. No, we got. Do I we, think we disconnected the hose. Oh, nope, Bobby put it back. Of course. Thank you, guys. What did they say? You never know what Bobby's up to without us. Ooh, I hope this doesn't fall. Sun's coming up nicely. This is not on, is it? I know you guys are thinking it's on, but it's not. It's just one of these um, hoses that become really, like, are kind of small, but become really long when uh, the water comes in, so the water kind of stays in here. All right. Hope I'm doing a good job entertaining. All right. Assistance? Yeah. Oh yeah, the water. Somebody, uh, one of the people told me. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. That's uh, a good idea. Start taking off the, Let the me get the engine fenders? started for. Oh yeah, you can take the pole fenders off. Oh, uh, so Florencia is actually in Nassau right now. She was working on getting her uh, uh, visa for the USA. So she success. She got approved. She's got to wait there until she gets it. This thing's really loose right now. All right, so we're about ready to start the engine. Sorry, it's all crazy now. All right, about ready to start the engines. Let me turn on my engine instruments. Uh, and that chart plotter was not working the other day, which is fine. Gotta investigate why, but these other ones work. And I think it, I don't know why, but anyway. But uh, that one didn't have proper charts for where we are anyway now. All right, so uh, start these engines up. And here we go. Warming up nicely, we got oil pressure coming up. There we go on this other one. It's up there, 700 RPM, looking good. Unfortunately, the oil pressure on this gauge quit working a couple days ago. So I gotta replace it. Um, it does work downstairs though, so I gotta go check downstairs to check out my um, 
oil pressure down there. I guess I'll take you guys with me down the engine room. It's kind of loud, but. You don't know, recall seeing if we fish off the boat. Not too much. Um, I'm not a big fisherman. We've been um, working on doing some kind of collaboration with one of the big fishing channels, and we want to like do something with them and invite them on and kind of show us how to fish and all that stuff. So I'm not. I'm just not a big fisherman. All right. So I'm gonna go down here and check the oil pressure. So I checked the oil pressure, we're good there. Uh, and uh, and while I was down there, you know, just kind of look around, make sure no fluids are spraying out anywhere. Now we're pretty much ready to get off the dock, I believe. Uh, and yeah, it's not a beer, it's a Canada Dry Ginger Ale, whoever was mentioning it. Okay, let me see which lines we need to get off first. Um, I do like motorboats, whoever's saying that, but the problem with them is range and fuel. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I want to go back across South Pacific. I think you need a sailboat for that. Okay. So we got three lines holding us on the dock right now. We got the half one, which is really keeping us from going forward and from swinging too far out that way. We got this one, which isn't doing a whole lot. It's keeping us from sliding forward. Uh, oh, we got a couple up here. We got two of them keeping us from going forward. And then we got this one here, which uh, keeping us from sliding backwards. So I'm gonna disconnect this one here since he's not doing anything. So basically what I'm going to do here is, all right, so when we're, Steph, yeah. when we're getting ready to go here, we're going to disconnect this line first because it's not really doing much. And then these two, we basically disconnect at the same time and throw it on the boat and run and jump on. Okay. So, all right, but we want to wait till the boat's over close to this, like it is now. And probably the release that back one, maybe a millisecond before the forward one. Okay. So you want me to disconnect this right now? Uh, not yet. Let's wait for Megan to finish tying off there. All right, guys, you about ready? Yep. All right, so here goes nothing. We'll hopefully not crash into the dock. You can untie that one there. Yeah, so the half line and this, this middle one, but get the forward one first. Let me get up here and so I can control the bow thruster and stuff. Just about ready to get off the dock here. Uh, yeah, we would have line handlers, but it's early. The sun just came up, so there's nobody to help. What's that? Okay, guys. Hey, Bucky, come here. Bucky. Come here. Let me put him upstairs with me real quick. Hey, Rick. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. I appreciate that, Rick. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day. All right, guys. Um, Let's, uh, let's do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. What? Go ahead. All right, throw it and run. Okay, we're good to go. Are all lines off? Yeah. Verify all lines off. Yeah. All right, here we go, we're lined up. All right, so just guiding us out here. are out of the slip that's the first part now we got to turn around inside this little channel So the way I'm doing this here, I just got my starboard engine in reverse, my forward engine, or my port engine in forward, and just spinning it. I mean, I could use the bow thruster if I needed to, but uh, so we'll get out of here. All right, now we're going forward with both of them, and now I'll start steering the boat. I've got my stabilizers on center, so they just maintain center rather than trying to keep the boat centered or uh, stable, which is what you want on this. Going a little fast here. The problem with this boat is it idles at five and a half knots so here we go and somebody will get some uh footage with that the main camera as us of us leaving yeah. so that's the thing you gotta when we're doing all this i mean we got it number one uh maintain control of the boat and figure all that stuff out and then film for you at the same time and all that stuff it gets a little uh you know you need like eight people to do this we only have three at the moment so, uh, anyway, here we are. We're pulling out of the channel. Once we get out of here where I can uh, put the autopilot on, uh, you know, I'll be able to show you a little more stuff around the boat while we're moving. The girls are all tying up lines right now and kind of cleaning up the boat, which is kind of their job at the moment. Um, otherwise I'd have them take you around but uh, okay so we got to go out they've got a marked channel here I don't know if you can see there's orange and green buoys or red and green buoys out there and uh, uh, just follow them out plus we've got our old track right here coming in and uh, yeah there you go you can film it's like inception film the film so there we go uh please guys if you wouldn't mind click click the like button if you're watching now you got like 1500 of you watching now it helps us out in the ratings appreciate you uh and yeah it should be a good day it's been blowing more than trim the mustache or trim the sails uh well there's no sails so i guess i'll trim the mustache right come on full throttles we'll get out we'll get to it in a minute but uh i mean we got to get out of the channel here first so no uh, it uh, without hitting any reefs so I got one buoy here that I keep to port, and then there's a green one up there. I'm gonna keep it to starboard. And basically the channel winds around way out there. It goes way out this way, and then back towards the lighthouse. This marina is fairly new, so. Fort Lauderdale will be there uh, some point uh, in May. I'm actually going to do a, um, uh, we're doing a, uh, I'm doing a seminar in Fort Lauderdale on the cruising life. Um, and uh, it'll be June 16th. Uh, I'll have tickets on sale at some point, and all it's all it's gonna be all for charity. So I, I'm not making any money on it. Uh, it's just for charity, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, it's for uh, I'll, I'll kind of announce all that. We'll have a meeting with the charity on Tuesday, so we're gonna do that. And Bucky is down there in his life jacket. But sun's up now, it's getting warm in here. So 
So hello, also there's a lot of Australians today. I guess, like I said earlier, it's uh, it's uh, you know, good time in the day in Australia. It's got to be what late afternoon or early evening, something like that. Uh, I'm sure somebody has answered. Oh, by the way, uh, let's see here. One second, I got to turn here. I got to turn the boat first to get over on this channel uh, around this buoy here, and then the next buoys are up there. Um, so by the way, let me turn this guy on. If you are a patron, you can actually uh, track us right now. So I just turned my tracker on. Uh, it is started tracking. So you go to patreon.com slash sailing doodles and you get live access to our tracker so you can see what speed we are doing, what our heading is, where we're going, all that kind of stuff. Where we've been too, it's kind of cool. Uh, the uh, tracker will show you everywhere we've been in the last five years. Uh, so uh, I like kind of looking at that. I love I love looking at that when crossing the South Pacific, and I go back and see that. And like, man, we were doing six or eight knots the whole way across the South Pacific, so it's pretty cool. But where did the dog come from? Hang on a second. Say hello. Bucky. So we adopted Bucky is his name, um, a buccaneer, uh, Bucky for short, uh, or Buckaroo, Buckster. We call him a lot of different things. And uh, there he is. Hey, Bucky. Hey. He's wearing his life jacket right now. Um, we got him in St. Martin. We from rescued him from a, he was going to be euthanized um, from a shelter. And so we rescued him. And uh, what we're planning to do is when we get to Florida in May or June, we will adopt him out to one of you guys. So uh, I'd love to be able to keep him. He really is a sweet dog. He's just a sweet dog he's very vocal he makes a lot of noise like he'll he'll cry when he's happy he'll cry when he's sad uh, like right now he's crying all because he's a little nervous um, because he's but he doesn't bark he doesn't bark yeah so but anyway uh, it will be tough to let him go because I know he's he's pretty attached especially to Megan he's really attached to Megan so but he was like that with us it took him a couple weeks for him to really warm up to us but now that he's warmed up, he's a sweet boy, so. Uh, anyway, somebody said some, I would not, I don't know. Could, couldn't read all the questions there. Um, but, uh, oh man, it's hot out here today. With no wind right now. And sorry, as soon as we get around this last little um, buoy here, I'll be able to go a little faster. Um, next time we go up to ICW in North Carolina, uh, so I haven't really decided yet. I may either be, oh, hey, John Highland, great way to start our day. Thanks, Bobby and crew. Appreciate you. Say, say thanks, John. Say thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. You can give us 20 bucks. So, uh, yeah, we're planning to go up to ICW or sell this boat in this summer. I'm not really sure because I need to sell this to pay for uh, the, the other boat. And, but that other boat's not going to be ready till next summer. So I haven't decided if I want to keep this until then, which is probably my best bet. I don't know, probably the best thing to do. We'll see. How are we doing guys? We got everything about all put up? I'm only seeing four. Yeah, I only see four fenders. So we need one more fender. But it's nice and calm out here today. Oh, that's great. We haven't had a day like this in a while. It's been really rough. And Bucky does not like rough seas. Australia is open for business. All right, maybe we'll have them come there. Whoever gets uh, the dark side will have a hell of a boat. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, going with a sailboat, I put a deposit down on a catamaran, um, but it's not going to be till next summer. And I am going to do sometime this week. I am going to do a thing for patrons because um, the brand isn't really making the the uh, model public yet. So uh, I haven't really not going to that on there but i will announce it to patrons and stuff i'll put the horn on yeah well unfortunately i gotta i would have to turn on the wi-fi because i control the plug with my wife. anyway I could, they're already in the back so i'd have been good with them i'd have to click off of this to do it crew come with purchase of the boat probably not uh you can ask them but i doubt it all right so we got one more buoy over there and then we're out of the channel um Looking for a 50 foot leopard. Yeah, mine's me 52, so pretty similar. Kind of a similar design to the leopard. Um, it, uh, it'll have the walkthrough window like the leopards. All right, let me give it a little more power here. 
Oh wait, no, we got they're pulling that one buoy off the back. But let's see here. Autopilot's on. So a lot of people ask what's that noise in here when they hear it on the on the that noise. That is the hydraulics for uh, the uh, autopilot. Unfortunately, it's like right underneath here, so you hear it. It's kind of annoying, but whatever, it works. Uh, anyway. How you guys doing? Great. We're basically done. Okay. All right, basically done, and then we'll open her up. Uh, I got one little shallow spot. I guess I can go out that way. Well, you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna go in the way I came, just because I know that's clear. So, but there's supposed to be a shallow spot out here in front of us, which still should be able to go over it. But these sandbars shift a lot, and they got the channel marks. So I'm not gonna get outside the channel until we are well outside. So you can see here. We're coming this way. There's a sandbar straight ahead. We came in from here. I'm just gonna come out straight here and then turn up. So, uh, going throttle. Just just another two minutes and I'll be throttling up the dark side. Just hang on a second. Uh, and if you would like to keep track of us, like I said, patreoncom duels, There is a, a link to our live tracker there, and this is the tracker. Uh, it updates every 10 minutes. It gives you our location speed and direction uh and so and also you can see where we've been over the past uh like well, since we started this basically so i think i bought one in key west like episode six of sailing doodles and so it's been up since then you can see us going all the way across the uh the uh the uh, uh the pacific all right almost there Bucky is not happy. What's going on, Bucky? <laughs> He's not real happy about this. Uh, let's see here. Anyway, almost there. Another quarter mile, and I'll be opening her up. Can it reach 30 knots? No. <laughs> not even close. I've had this thing up to 18 knots, but I'm pulling a fuel truck behind me when I'm doing that. We're gonna do 12 knots all the way today over to Georgetown. Um, kind of the goal would be there, be there by happy hour. So, um, yeah, We're almost there now. Just a thousand feet, and we'll open her up here. Yeah. About 25 feet below the keel. The oil pressures are good. The oil drive pressures are good. Here, I'll just kind of give you a panoramic there. Uh, the gauges. These two are not working. I need to replace them. But I checked them downstairs uh, before we left. I went downstairs and checked on the motor itself. Uh, these just went out like in the last couple weeks. And getting stuff down here is hard. Like if you're on Fort Lauderdale, I'll just go buy a new one and whatever. Great. But getting down one here would be a little hard. Almost there. Uh, or 200 feet or so. And then you know, give it a little bit of gas right now. What's the fuel burn rate? Uh, at 10 knots, uh, about 8 gallons each side. At 12 knots, probably about 15. Uh, per side, um, but uh, yeah, you will open a white off, you're looking at like 20, 25 per side, but you're doing 18 at that point, so. But the thing here is 1,300 gallons, so. All right, let's put in uh, our, so I'm gonna just put our, where we're going on the chart here. We're gonna go to the very tip of Long Island before turning down to Georgetown. So we wanna go right about there and go to all right, and then I'm gonna check it, make sure there's nothing really in between us and there. Obviously, you gotta stay off Long Island, but there we go. So now I just turn to follow that line and we're good to go. How you doing, Bucky? He just wants to be held. Yeah, well, he's not much of a snuggler. Does Bucky get seasick? Yeah, unfortunately he does. Um, he's thrown up a couple times now. We've learned not to eat him in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so no, he did not eat breakfast today. And he'll be fine. Otherwise he throws it up. Okay. 
Uh, fuel was expensive down here. So we filled up last time in Dominican Republic for four fifty a gallon, which I thought was reasonable. Um, here it was six dollars a gallon, so it's expensive. Um, so, you know, obviously the world stuff going on right now has made a big influence in that. Uh, hopefully that stuff will eventually. I mean, you know, there's people, there's people having a whole lot worse problems than high fuel prices right now. All right. So we are on the heading we should be on. I turn the autopilot back on and now we will crank her up. You guys ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna do about 1500 RPM or so. Tell you what, well, uh, just just for you guys, just for a minute, we'll do. We'll bring them up to 1,800 RPM. I think the, you know the max is 2,100 on these, but I don't ever run it at that. So we'll do that here. So we're doing 14 and a half, almost 15 knots. 15 knots, 15 knots. Uh, we're also burning <laughs> uh, 24 gallons each engine. Uh, so not gonna do this very long, but uh, we're hauling butt, 15 knots. Somebody said, how do you uh, sink the engines? I got an engine sink on here. Uh, just flip the switch and then move the throttle on one. But, all right, I'm gonna power back down. That's way too much gas. All right, let's bring it back down to 1400 RPM aside. So instead of doing 15 knots, we're doing eleven point six, eleven point five. So, so instead of doing four, 15, 14 and a half knots, we're doing 11 and a half knots. We lost three knots, but we're only burning 12 gallons a side right now. So less than half of the fuel and only lost three knots. So uh, it's just not worth it to go that extra speed, right? Uh, now, if I bring it back down to 10 knots, I'd be only burning about eight gallons a side. So, so somebody's just asking, what's my most efficient cruising speed, I mean, I'd say nine knots, honestly. Nine knots, we're burning about six gallons a side, five and a half gallons a side, uh, which is reasonable, you go a long way on that. Uh, but the only problem is you're, you're running those engines pretty, you're only probably doing a thousand RPM per engine. Um, and so you can do it, they'll do it just fine, but every now and again, you really need to bring the power up on the engines to uh, kind of heat everything up, because they'll run pretty cool uh, at a thousand RPM. Uh, and so you need to heat them up, get the turbos heat up, because these are turbocharged, so. Um, but, yes, but I mean, so hey, 11 and a half knots. I mean, I think we were planning on, on doing something like that today anyway. So if somebody's asking synchronizer, I just turned this sink on right here, switch right here. And then I advanced the slave throttle out of the way. And now everything's run on this throttle and the engines are synced up. So you don't have to just sit there and listen that round, 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 round the whole time. So, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you liked us getting off the dock. What do you think? I loved it. I think there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Let us know if you liked it, and we can do it more. Yep. Yep. Please. Oh wow. Ooh, ooh, yeah, everybody's buddy. a little tired. Yeah. Maybe uh, we can throw a camera on when we're pulling back into. Uh, uh, well, no, we're not gonna be going to the dock. We'll be anchoring out for the next little while. But. Anyway guys, please click that like button, appreciate it. it they are diesel. I mean, uh, you can't get a boat this big that runs on gas. Uh, I mean, I'm, there might be some, but I have no idea. But anyway, 
All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.